Hey, Scott from MyGrowthRings.com here. And Seth from SethMarkwood.com. Together, along with you, the three of us, we're Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. Welcome back to Tobacco Advent 2021, day 24. Merry Christmas Eve. This is our annual count up, count down, count back to Christmas. And guess what happens tomorrow? You've already said it. You spoiled it. I Well, they know. Okay. They, they know. Hopefully, uh, you're watching this from the comfort of your home, not working today. Maybe you are, and that's okay, too. But... Hopefully you're getting some time to enjoy your family before the big day tomorrow and get in some last minute CVS shopping and <laughs> Signal Man Tony. Mm hmm That's who sent us these. Yeah. Signal Man Tony. I was I, I hadn't been ongoingly thinking about mm. it, but I, I I thought, gosh, why don't I remember that? And is this one yours or is this one mine? That one's yours. Mine's okay. Okay. So <laughs> So what are we smoking today? We're smoking something from Brother Boontar, I understand. This is Dobby's Four Square Pipe Tobacco Cavendish. Mm, Cavendish, good choice. It is. All right. Our question of the day, what makes you laugh the hardest? <laughs> Again, short and sweet. What makes you laugh the hardest? Okay, I can I can just I can say this right now, and then we can dig into it. But absurdity makes me laugh. I remember when you introduced me to a series of Jack Handy quotes. And I'd seen Jack Handy quotes on SNL, and they give you one a week back in the day. And uh, of course, they're they're funny. But when you're reading one after the other after the other, that is just absurd. Or Steve Martin, when Steve Martin said, I'm so mad at my mother. She called me up the other day and asked to borrow some money to buy some food. So, of course I gave her the money, but I'm making her work it off. And he goes down this list of things he's going to make her do. You know, putting the barbells up in the attic and you know, changing the oil in the car. Or he, or he talked about, uh, you know, now that he's got, now that he's making some money, you know, he's buying some things like, you know, a, a fur sink. And uh, he lists all these things. Then, he, then after listing several, he's like, well, of course I've bought some stupid things too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that kills me. I feel like we shot a video, but I don't remember this happening early, early enough in the year that we were still shooting videos. So I don't know why I have that memory, but uh, Norm MacDonald is, mm. is, is often that for me. Uh, R.I.P. Um, Norm Macdonald, some of his, in particular, some of his visits to Conan, you know, just <laughs> rambling uh, the the moth, the moth joke, and well, um, in, in some of those we learned since his death, and we went kind of circle back. Right. We found out that he was being interviewed at one point, and was told, "Okay, we got four minutes in this segment." He didn't. He didn't know. They hadn't mm -hmm. planned on having four minutes to talk and so he tells the joke after the commercial break and he goes on for eight just minutes goes on and on and on oh my gosh and how does he do, how do, you do it and you know it's it's one of those things when when the comedians are giggling right <laughs> when it's clear that they are loving every moment of it um because they find it funny and they find it absurd and they're just <laughs> waiting for it um, Tim you know, Conway talking about the, uh, the 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 monkey dancing on the uh, the the, tu the trunks of the oh, Siamese elephants. Yeah. Oh yes. Going a little merengue. Yeah. In the fact that the nobody trunks. else there had expected that story to go on and on and on like that. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Carol Burnett's reaction. Shut up, you jackass. No, that was that was uh, that was. Um, oh, that was Vicky. Vicky Lawrence. Said, That's yeah. right. Yeah, are we sure that little a hole is done? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, I, I'm I'm fairly similar in that regard. One of my favorite shows. Uh, I have I have fallen in love over the last two years with two um, UK based panel shows. If you're not familiar with the panel show, um, they're very, very popular in the UK. They are, you know, uh, shows Graham where they Norton. have... Graham Norton is an example, um, probably one of the more popular examples. But 
But the the, other, the others are, are more game show mm -hmm. format, where you'll have usually it's like six comedians on on teams, um, teams of of two or three, um, pitted against each other. But like, uh, whose line is it anyway? The, the game isn't the important thing. It's just a, an excuse. It's just you know the format that they're they're following. Um, two of them that I love, I have. I've seen every episode of one of them and I'm working my way backwards from most recent to, to history of the other. Uh, the first is Taskmaster and it is a show where they take five comedians and separately they have them perform random tasks. So think slightly more complex minute to win it games. Right? So it might be, um, it might be uh, eat as much of this watermelon as you can. You have two minutes go or it might be count the number of beans in this can of baked beans most accurate wins or it could be um get the get the tea bag into a, a mug from the furthest distance you have 20 minutes and um and so they do these tasks but then the best part of it is they then are together in to studio with the taskmaster who's also a comedian and he is the arbiter of who gets points and um they watch them together so they watch everyone else's performance together and so there's commentary the way that it is edited together you know people that um take a similar approaches their their attempts may be intermixed where someone that just doesn't understand the rules at all uh, will be in there or someone that that really really um kind of thinks outside of the box will be in there um it is hysterical the, the interplay with the comedians in that space is really just the best part of it um, because they're, they're there many times, you know, the, it goes from the highest highs to the lowest lows. They're feeling like <laughs> idiots. They're like, I didn't understand that at all. Um, it's great. Taskmaster. They're, they've done 13 or 14 seasons. You can find clips Whoa. and full episodes on YouTube and other places. Um, the other show is Would I Lie to You? Again, th this show has two teams with three comedians. Two of them, the, the team captains, are always there. So they'll have four guests. And um, they are, uh, in one of the bits, they're given a piece of paper and they have to read the statement and they don't know as they're reading, they've never seen the card before and as they're reading it, they don't know if it's something true or a lie. And then the other team gets to ask them questions and grill them. And so they're, they're you know, for the lies, they're weaving these stories about the time I, I uh, got stuck at the gas station overnight in my dressing gown. Um, and you know, maybe it's a lie, maybe not. So this is like on NPR, I listen to Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me. Mm -hmm. And they'll do that where they will tell three different news stories, only one of them's real. But that is just as bizarre as the, the, the couple that they've made up. Yes, absolutely. So they do a similar thing where every episode they'll have a person come out and they'll introduce the person. This is, this is Roger. And then each, each of the three comedians on that team go down the line um, it's called This Is Mine. Uh, Roger, this is, this is the, um, Roger let me, uh, stay in his gas station overnight when I locked myself out of the store and I was in my wife's dressing gown. Uh, this is Roger. He did such and such and such and such. Uh, you know, this is Roger. He did blah, blah, blah. And no matter which one is the truth, you know, the, the opposing team has to figure out which one is the truth. Huh. All three stories end up being just absolutely bizarre and wild and they're asking details about things and it is great again you can find clips and you can find full episodes on youtube so what makes what, what I like makes you laugh is it absurdity is it intelligent humor what do you, what would you call yeah improvisation uh i think i think absurdity i think the intelligent humor definitely definitely does it um for me i mean uh uh, you know, Fart noises, you're saying. things that uh, the presentation of the the, the humor also, um, you know, it's not always absurdity. Uh, you know, some of the some of the things that make me laugh in the office are not necessarily absurd, but um, they're often unexpected. <laughs> um, yeah, so those things oh. those those things just get first me, first time you saw. A stapler in a uh, in a Jello mold, which would have been in the 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 British the office, but then repeated on the American office. That's right. <laughs> but the first time you saw that, it's like, oh, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. Yeah. Or or when when um, 
when, um, oh gosh, why is his name slipping me? Um, when he's trying out for the Blue Man Group. Tobias. Oh, Tobias. Tobias. He and blew he's, myself. He's, he, he blew it himself and has blue yeah. paint all over the walls. and. Yeah, I, I love this. What I, what I think <laughs> gets me about the, the panel shows is it's unscripted, but it's one of those situations where it's, it's really good comedians riffing off of each other oh, and making yeah. each other laugh. And so, you know, you, you get that extra level of of joy from seeing these people that know comedy they know what's funny yeah. and when they're caught off guard yes. and when they get tickled by something um it's just i don't know that adds to it have, have you watched the uh comedians in cars drinking coffee mm. a couple of uh, some clips not most not I much really enjoy that show yeah and this is um jerry seinfeld show where he's interviewing a comedian and it's not outrageously funny it's not intended to be outrageously funny but when they are playing with each other and just having fun yeah and clearly enjoying each other's company it's it, you, you can't help but enjoy it too mm -hmm. um, and boy there's a couple of them where they weren't they weren't good at all and you could tell that show is not like a 30 minute show it's however long it needs to be and there's like one episode that's 12 minutes long mm. <laughs> it wasn't good it was a gal that was on SNL for a hot minute and she was not good um, i i saw i've i've seen a clip or two where it definitely feels very forced yeah um like you know there, there's some clear tension here yes yes awkward and try as they might to break through it it just doesn't work no no and there's a couple of them where they do a second part because mm. they knew it was that long but you could tell they're just having a ball all right so what makes you laugh <laughs> Tell us about it down below. Give us an example. Post a link to a video that you found on YouTube that is your type of humor. And uh, again, that'll end up in our spam folder. We'll find it eventually, and uh, we'll we'll make it visible. Brother Boonchar, thanks that. for the Cavendish. Yes, good choice. I smoke it. Again. And uh, make it a great day. See ya.